Well, if we go against Morocco, it's going to be like uh, what? Morocco five or something. Right. It's like it's like shake, rattle, and roll. You know what I mean? <laughs> Four, shake, rattle, and roll. Fourteen. Um, um, but it's always an incredible challenge going against uh, Coach Norman. And, and then, of course, JoJo, you know, my team captain for years and, and my assistant coach for years, and having to go against him is, is going to be really difficult because he knows me like the back of his hand. So uh, um, either one is going to be great. You know, we don't have any control of that, so we don't worry about that. We just take who's coming, and then we'll try to figure out the best way to, to attack them once we figure out who's going to be out there. And uh, so we're going to be watching the series very closely, scouting it as we go, preparing for both teams. And whoever emerges, uh, um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of a heads up because we're already having scouting done on them while they're already involved in the other series. Happy, um, for you He's getting closer. He's getting closer. Um, the fact that this is a 10 day break before we play, you know, there's, there's an opportunity. He could be, he, he's an opportunity. There's an opportunity only, but nothing written in stone for sure. But there's an opportunity. He could be ready by game one. We'll see. Um, but, uh, you know, barring any setbacks, there's a chance he could be ready by game one. He's, he's not back in practice yet by any means. Uh, um, he's just starting to do one-on-ones and two-on-twos in practice. Uh, and uh, so he's still, still got a ways to go. But with the 10-day break, that might, that might put him in, in a position he might play game one. But we expect him back at some point during the series. Well, Maya's, Maya's really been our, our best shooter. Um, you know, he's, he's lights out from the corner, and, and uh, um, he has a, a really quick release. He can get it up, and he's tall, so he can get a shot off on just about anybody. And uh, he's certainly not afraid of the moment, as we've seen. You know, he, he's – what was that game that we played? He had, like – Enlex. Enlex, yeah, Enlex, where he – he had uh, 12 points in the last, you know, three minutes or something like that, or two minutes, all three-point shots and all tough ones. So he's certainly not afraid of the moment. He, he embraces it. And, and uh, I, I actually thought about subbing him just a little bit there in the fourth quarter, and I go, no, 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 no. He, he's too clutch. I'm going to leave him in there. And so uh, uh, and he, he proved, uh, you know, he's been clutch um, this whole conference. So, uh, yeah, it's great to have that extra weapon there. Um, it's great to have that length at the two guard position that goes along with Scotty. Scotty's big for a point guard. He's big for a two guard. Jamie's big and long for a three guard for the three position. So, you know, we, we, we pose some problems there in the backcourt with these guys.